Hello everyone, my name is Dennis Siminski and I've created a uh, small show for Mark Sublet's Medicine Man Gallery. It's called Cowgirls and Cowboys. So there are 10 pieces I'll be talking about. And this first one here is called Red Plaid Cowgirl. Uh, and the main feature of this is of course the, the cowgirl with her red plaid shirt. Uh, but it also tells a story. <clears throat> and she, and most, most of the work that I have here uh, as an illustrator, I used to try to tell stories. And so as a painter, I still do the same thing. And uh, so she's perhaps waiting for uh, her turn in the, in the corral uh, to show her quality, or uh, maybe she's just uh, looking at a friend, uh, or just observing. But we don't know this, it's up to you to decide. Uh, I love painting clouds. And I'll always say that, but this one right here kind of reflects her shirt. So here's red plaid cowgirl. And this one here is called a cowboy's valentine. It uh, tells its own story, as you can see. The cowboy's trying to give his valentine to his, his uh, girlfriend. And uh, only the horse has the advantage and a little bit of a snack. And this one's called cowgirl with lasso and she's obviously that's exactly what it is bunch of dust being kicked up uh, she looks pretty happy um, I have a lot of photographic scrap in my studio of <clears throat> old-time rodeo uh, I live in Sonoma California and there are a lot of ro there were, used to be a lot of rodeos there and so I was able to pick a lot of scrap using some of the cowgirl shirts that they had back then and uh, some of the riding and, and events that they had in those days. I'm able to pull that up and kind of resurrect uh, the old time rodeo for cowgirls. This one is called Asking for Directions and uh, it tells another story and it's for you to decide who's asking for directions. Uh, of course, the cowgirl has got her horse and the cowboy's got his Ford F-150 overdrive, 1956. And I love doing uh, cars, trucks, all that kind of stuff. And this one here is called 100 in the Shade. We all know down here it gets pretty hot. So 100 is not really that hot, but the guy's in the shade here and uh, he could be in Sabino Canyon uh, or any one of the various canyons in the Catalinas here. Uh, again, this is an oil painting like the rest. And I just wanted to show uh, how precious water is. Okay, these two here, their similarity is found in the clouds that I painted here. The top one, Cloud Tower. And clouds for me take all different kinds of formations. You can do just about any color, any shape, and it still is a cloud, or still has uh, the shape of whatever is in the sky that's moisture. And here in Shadows and Clouds, um, I made the clouds dominant. And in order to do that, uh, I painted some figures down here, a uh, horseman with uh, his packed uh, horse behind him to show you the dimension or the scale of this cloud. I love painting clouds and uh, it has all different kinds of colors. If you weren't aware, the clouds aren't just white. They're gray and blue and purple and green and red. And uh, if you, there are gonna be some other pictures I'll show you here shortly that have those colors as well. So it's one of my favorite things to do is painting shadows and clouds. So there you have it. Here we have the, the largest piece of the show, of the 10 pieces, and it's called The Horse Thief. And uh, I was impressed by reading uh, some Western novels. I think it might have been Louis L'Amour who said, if you're being followed, uh, always ride the ridge tops and never look back on your trail. Well, this fellow here is going against the grain. He's not on the ridge tops and he's looking back on his trail. So as a horse, horse thief, 
it's not that good of a one, I think. Um, clouds again, all different kinds of colors, if you look through them. Can't help it, I love painting clouds. Here we have Navajo Cowboys. And of course, they're the dominant feature here. The subordinate feature is one of the mittens in Monument Valley. And every time I go to Monument Valley, it just seems so majestic and clear and, and sunny that I had to do this kind of warmth, this kind of, kind of light. Okay, here we have um, Head em Up. That's the title of the picture here. And it's after, I guess, Rawhide. You know, if you look at the Rawhide TV series lyrics for the show, that's one of the things they say is head them up, move them out. And uh, so here's some cowboys um, with their cattle um, and they're being threatened by this big cloud. Again, I love painting clouds. And uh, you'll notice an exception to everybody here. Everybody's looking this way. Even the clouds seem to be going this way, except for this guy. So what does that tell you? I know it's a story.